Today, I want to talk about some opportunities and concerns ChatGPT has brought to open educational resources. Uh, so first, let's talk about uh, what is OER. Uh, here we have a definition from creativecommons.org. Open educational resources are teaching, learning, and the research materials that are either in the public domain or licensed in a manner that provides everyone with a free and perpetual permission to engage in the 5R activities. So here uh, we have the 5R permissions of OER. Um, you have a retain, reuse, revise, remix, and a redistribute. What is a ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by AI research company OpenAI. The way how it works is uh, ChatGTP takes the language and breaks it up into small tokens. Those are the small pieces of language. And based on the algorithm, predicts the, the next token. The prediction is a random and a subject to error. So there's no guarantee that uh, what you get is uh, accurate and correct. So you should always be very careful about that. You can go to ChatGPT websites um, you can use their free version, uh, version 3.5, or you can pay $20 a month at this moment to get a plus version. Uh, that is a version 4.0. The plus version is more powerful than the free version. So I want to show you some examples to talk about the opportunities ChatGPT has brought to OER. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, how to use the ChatGPT to search for specific OER, to get more background information about OER, uh, to create uh, course materials, but there is a concern, do they qualify as OER? And also we can use the ChatGPT to evaluate OER. Suppose I want to find some open educational resources that are specific for economics. So I can ask ChatGPT, give me some open educational resources for economics. Um, so here I have uh, several resources that are, that are specific to economics. I can also ask ChatGPT to give me the links to the open educational resources it just mentioned. So now for each resource, I get a link. So I can cl click on the link to visit each of these resources. Suppose I find a course under Marginal Revolution University is pretty interesting. And I would like to know more background information about this course. So I can ask ChatGPT, I want you to give me more background information about this course from Marginal Revolution University. Here is the website of this course. So here, it gives me pretty nice looking background information. The information um, is probably not a very straightforward for me. Um, so it's pretty nice to have this uh, nice looking summary. Uh, and I can make my decision whether this is what I'm looking for based on the information. And I also would like, would like to see if there is a test bank for this course. So I, I ask a chat GPT and the chat GPT tells me it is not authorized to search for test banks or any copyrighted materials. And I should look elsewhere. But if I ask a chat GPT about some general test banks, I can get some answers. I ask, give me some OER test banks for economics. And it gives me some pretty general test banks for economics. Um, may, they may not have been specific for the course I'm looking for, but at least I can get something from ChatGPT. But I really want to get something specific for this course. 
So I changed my question. Can you create the three multiple choice questions with the answers for chapter thirteen, foreign aid? And the ChatGPT actually created the three、uh, three multiple choices questions and answers. But as I said, we should be pretty careful about it because、uh, these questions、um, can be wrong, and we should be cautious about it. We need to double check that. Or maybe I also want some explanations, so I ask, "Can you create three multiple choice questions with answers and explanations for chapter thirteen, foreign aid?" So now I get not only the questions and answers, but some explanations. So you may want to ask,、um, "Do they qualify as OER?" And we will talk about this, this issue later.、Uh, suppose I want to know more about this chapter, so I ask, "Give me some description of the chapter thirteen foreign aid." So now it gives me pretty nice looking summary. So probably this information is not very straightforward to me if I'm looking at this course. So、um, with the information,、uh, it gives me some idea. What this chapter is about, and also,、um, ChatGPT can give me some comments on this course. I ask,、um, how do you comment on the quality of this course?、Um, it tells me it does not have a personal opinions or experiences, but it can give me some assessment based on available information.、Um, Based on what I see here,、um, it seems that this course has a high quality and it is a pretty、um, nice course for、um, economics. But I, I want to know more about this comment. So where does this comment come from? I ask. Can you give me a link to this comment? And ChatGPT tells me. It cannot because it was created by ChatGPT、um, based on some available information. It does not exist elsewhere. So now let's talk about、uh, some concerns pretty briefly. Um, uh, the first is inaccuracy. As I said, the prediction、um, is random, so there's no guarantee that. Uh, what you get is accurate or correct, and you should be very careful about that. Number two is a bias, because the quality of output is only as good as the quality of inputs, and we know a lot of inputs can have a lot of bias. Um, so the quality, uh, so that can affect the quality of output, and we should also be cautious about that. And another big issue is the intellectual property issues. So remember the three questions created by ChatGPT: Do they qualify as、uh, OER? I actually ask ChatGPT that question.、Um, it tells me、um, they are not automatically considered OER because they have not been intentionally created. And licensed to allow for free and open use, sharing and and adoption by others. So, in other words, they may not necessarily have all the five R permissions. And I keep going on. Who has the copyright of materials generated by ChatGPT? It tells me、um, the copyright、um, would likely belong to OpenAI, the company. And also, who are running the language model? It also tells me、um, if、uh, the materials are for educational purposes,、uh, we may still be able to use them under the current copyright law. And also, it is a case by case issue. So it suggests us、um, to always look for specific terms、um, for any. Materials generated by ChatGPT, so it's a case by case issue. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.